In this video, I will show you how to create this fade in and fade out text transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go straight to my laptop. Inside Premiere Pro, I've got my text layer and B-roll ready. And the next thing I will do to create the fade in and fade out effect is to go over there, click on the two arrows, go down to effects and type linear. I will take the linear wipe effects and apply it to the text layer. Then after that, I'm going to go up to the effect control panel, scroll down to the linear wipe. And as you can see, now we've got transition, wipe angle and feather. We're going to use all of them. Then I'm going to move the cursor somewhere at the beginning of the text layer and create keyframe for transition and for the wipe angle. Then I'm going to increase the transition to 100% and change the wipe angle to 270 degrees. Then I will select this keyframe, press Ctrl and C, and move the cursor somewhere at the middle of the text and press Ctrl and V, so we duplicated this keyframe. Then once we've got the cursor at the middle, again, I'm gonna change the transition percentage to zero. And now when we have created the fading effects, we have to create the fade out as well. To do this, again, I'm gonna change the transition to 100% and move this keyframe at the end of the text layer. And then I'm gonna change the wipe angle keyframe to 90 degrees. And also I will duplicate it as well. I'm gonna press Ctrl and C and then move the cursor exactly where the transition keyframe it is and hit Ctrl and V. Like that, now we've got the fade in and fade out animation. Let's see it. But as you can see, it's not ready yet. To make it better and to look more professional, I'm gonna go down to feather and increase it somewhere around 700. But bear in mind, you can increase it as much as you like. Then I'm gonna select the first keyframes, the left button of the mouse and ease out. Then the middle keyframes, left button of the mouse, continuous bezier. And last but not least, the last keyframes and is in. Also, I'm gonna move those last keyframes closer to the middle one. So we're gonna have a smoother and faster transition. So let's play it and see what we achieve. Perfect, that looks really good. But let's say that you don't want to use the linear wide effect, that it's another way to create this fade in and fade out effect. I quickly delete the linear wipe effect and make sure that I have selected the text layer. And then I will go back to the effect control panel and click onto the text. From there, you can see that below the text, we've got ellipse masks, rectangle mask, and the pen tool. In that case, I'll be using the pen tool to create a mask over the text. I'm just gonna create one here, 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 here then and connect it there and don't worry if the rectangle mask is not perfect it doesn't matter in that case so now when we have created the rectangle mask i'll drag the cursor at the beginning of the text layer after that i'll move the mask out of the frame like that and create a keyframe by pressing on the stopwatch opposite the mask part like that then i'll move the cursor somewhere at the middle click on the mask Grab the mask and move it at the middle of the screen. And then automatically we're gonna create another keyframe. Then I'll move the cursor somewhere over here. And again, drag the mask out of the frame to the right hand side like that. And again, you can see that we've got the fade in and fade out effect, but it's not perfect yet. We're gonna do exactly the same thing that we've done with the linear wipe effects. I'm gonna go to the mask feather and increase it again to 700 and by doing this we have created the fade in and fade out effect by using the pen too and that's how easy you can create the fade in and fade out text transition effect in adobe premiere pro i hope you enjoyed and if you did so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time